Yeah, this wasn't made in China, was it? Oh, word. Um, yeah, so basically, got this paneling on. For the old, uh, old new apprentice. <laughs> Hello, Frank, what are you going to say? It's all right, it's waffle anyway, really. I'm going to get out, Frank. Good morning, Saturday morning. I'm not going to film what I'm doing today. Don't worry, the video's not going to go mental long, but I've come in Saturday. As a rule, I don't normally come in Saturdays, very rarely, in fact, um, and I probably won't even open the doors. I've got a weird mental block about being working on a Saturday or a Sunday. When I was a youth, constantly, constantly working weekends and evenings. All I'm going to do is fitness these. See, I planed them yesterday. If you look at them, Obviously, I've just got a flat on the back, the back face, but we're using the front face, which is a nice face as a reference. If you, if you, I mean, that yeah, that tells you, doesn't it? That I've, I've, I've got one edge, I've got one face flattened and one edge. I normally leave them basically like that. I stack them like that just to make sure that as I'm thicknessing and playing them, oh, there's a long edge, that as I'm thicknessing and playing them, they're, um, they're staying straight while well, uh, planing them because that's really where the art is. Yeah, look. Yeah, there's a tiny bit in it at, end, at this end of the board, probably is at that end actually as well because they're long boards. These are 2.4, I think. Yeah, 2.4 they are. So that's quite an awkward one to try and plane on the planer. Obviously, plane on anything else, would you? Because I've done that part. Essentially now, what I need to do is set up this one. You can see the difference in it. There's a good example that we can see the difference in it. So we're now just taking this here as our reference point. We pass it through that machine and that machine runs this through on a flatbed and it skims over the top with a roller, which drags it, and then a planer, three knives, which just keep cutting away at it um, until you get it down to... Well, you, I choose to take it down to that point, obviously, but the machine will just keep going if you just keep if you keep making it. But yeah, I'll just keep taking bit off, bit off, bit off, bit off until I get to there. Um, and then that, let's just say that's 30 mil or 32 mil. That'll be what I'll reduce everything else to. Or, you know, if it's just that one little bit, I might decide to come a bit further in and measure it up here. And it might be a little bit thicker and I might just decide to lose that. So I'll lose this rather than losing three or four mil on the face of everything. If that makes sense. Um, so I'm going to do that now. I'm not going to film any of it because uh, it's boring enough talking about it. And then I'll probably just update it at the end of the day because I'm actually going to glue a lot of these together. Uh, so at the end of the at the end of the day, I'll just show you where I got to. Well, it won't even be a full day. It'll only be half a day. Um, I hope anyway. Yeah. Okay then. Then um, yeah. The, then back on this Monday. Uh, and again, I like to do stuff like this on a Friday or you know the end of the week so that I can come in and just, I'll be thinking about that at the weekend just in the odd little bit of time I've got downtime that's done so that's um that's the bath surround there's a little bit extra there that's just for going into the window that all needs sort of uh scribing on site um and then here this is the sill which basically is going to be the bottom of this unit, which is upside down at the moment, gets painted white with all that frame around it. Then you've got, these are the shelves. Um, there's one over there, which I actually had a little bit of a, a little bit of an accident with. So I've just glued a bit in there, which I'll chop off Monday morning. Um, uh, yeah, and then this is actually, so for these shelf holes, you'll notice they're at 90, they're uh, uh, further apart. If you look at um, this picture up here and then look at two weeks ago, week 26 and 25, I think they that's the kitchen that I um did where I sort of you know used that system of these uh metal sleeves and timber dowels and then I rebate the shelf. I really liked it on that job. I thought it looked really, really smart. And because I'd already got the jig made up, um which I'll keep now and I've worked out that actually I can just sl slide it over each time. Um, so I don't even have to make it to suit the shelf size because you can more or less actually get that onto your board. You can more or less just put that onto your board because I'm using the that router with a handle. You can just hold it with one hand like that and then, you know, um, which is why that happened because I didn't clamp it and I wasn't holding it tight enough. But what I'll do is I've done this in the past. 
just um, super glue a bit of sandpaper there. Just gives you a little bit more friction. So when you're putting it on, there's a bit of, it's not that it can't slide, because obviously the MDS quite slidey. Right, okay, Monday morning is probably not going to get a lot of film because Monday morning um, is going to be... But do I include this? Do I include this for next week? We'll have to see how long the video is. Um, yeah, so Monday morning is going to be basically getting all this sanded, oiled, well not oiled, lacquered and primed. Good afternoon. It's Monday, uh, end of the day actually. I don't know whether I'm going to, in, I don't know how this week's video is going to go because obviously I edit them at the end of the week. So I don't know if Saturday's going to be on this week, if not. Welcome, Matt here. What's going on? I uh, just thought what I've been doing is I've been dyeing the oak. Um, it looks really awful in the process of dyeing it, but it does then slowly start to dry out and become like. Um, yeah, I just thought really, It'd be a shame not to show you um, the actual oak itself prior to it um, prior to it being oiled. You see, it's nice as it is. Um, not oiled, dyed. Sorry. It'll be Tuesday tomorrow. We'll be fitting all of this. There's a curb, but you know, you see, watch last week's video. You see what I'm fitting. Um, yeah, and then just a big, big thank you, basically, to anyone that's uh, new, subscribed. Um, I put, uh, so last week's video, Friday, I was standing about here and I said, oh, I'm on 300 subscribers. Uh, so I just checked and yeah, before I left the house this morning, I was on 321. So 21 subscribers over the weekend. It's pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Uh, well, I'm really, really happy actually. I'm, uh, yeah, really touched by that. Right, um, I'm going to crack on with this and I'll be fitting tomorrow, trying to get a good video out of it basically. Alright, good morning. It's midday. This is the bathroom. I've had to, unfortunately, I've had to remove that, that, the radiator, the sink. Obviously, don't want that is it's gone. Bath, thankfully, the customer did get rid of, but in a nutshell, kind of like I was hoping the plumber would. It's just been a bit of a. The communication's not been the best, and I just wanted to get the job going. Um, yeah, I did. I did say that I'd start on such and such a day. I didn't think that there was that much in my way. I thought I'd just have to, we just was like, hey, it's only the bath's in my way. Yeah, I'll move the bath and I got in. And I was like, the one thing that isn't in my way is the bath. Um, so I had to do that. So I've actually been going backwards and forwards from here to the workshop. Been put a bit, bit more clear lacquer on all the woodwork. Um, just because it is really dusty and messy in here, I want to get it sealed really. Um, I'm just going to jump on now. I'm not going to film it, I don't think really, it's no point. Um, I think what I'm going to do is, I've got to batten all this out and then I've got to tongue and groove it. Now, I'm not going to film that. What I am going to do is I'll pick you up tomorrow probably when I've got like, when I'm not sort of looking like this, <laughs> basically. Because um, it's just too much going on in here. Uh, you know, it's what it is. I've got a fair bit, I've got so much measuring to sort out. I've got to make sure that everything works to fit things in because it is tight for space. Um, yeah, I've, I've just got to really, and I've got to leave early to pick my lad up. So, yeah, this will be it really for today. So I'll pick you up tomorrow. Right, good morning, Wednesday morning. Good window. Um, I didn't get very far to yesterday. Well, I did, I did quite a lot. But, I didn't film any of it, so you don't, you know, don't want, I don't have to justify myself to you. That's number one. Um, yeah, so basically, got this paneling on, um, scribing to all that side. I had, to, <coughs> I had to leave, I should have gone upstairs, so I'm out of breath. I had to leave really early yesterday to get my lad to take him to football. Um, and by the time I got all my tools and that up here, I took a radiator off the wall and a sink and some tiles um, and other bits and bobs, and the radiator would not turn off. I just didn't really get going, um, but I have managed to get all the battens on, plumb them up, move them around, shimmy them a bit because the window's massively out of level, which you, you kind of expect. Um, sort of like tweaked things, I just didn't quite get that cut on, so I actually took it back with me and went to the workshop this morning and cut that out of the workshop rather than getting the kit out again, just for that. Um, although I will need some kit today, but everything else you see is kind of made and just needs scribing in. Um, so I'm just going to jump on that now, really, and see how far we get. 
Um, my plan is to have this finished today because the plumber is coming tomorrow and there's not a lot of room in it. So, um, yeah, let's see what we get done. What are we saying? That's all right, isn't it? Then we've got a little, little storage bit in there. Uh, very, very small one in there. Just got some shelves to put in, but I'm not going to put them in because it's got to get decorated. Um, oh, and then I've got to run a piece along the top. So I was going to do a profile bit. I'm glad I didn't because he sort of said he wants it minimal. 
Um, and there was, if you remember last week, there was talk of maybe I'd have to architrave this, but no, this is the actual detail that we're sort of left with. Like a little ball nose piece on the top, and then just, I didn't tongue and groove that end piece, so it's just a cheek going in. And you think is the window is massively out, but it's just not at all level. So I've had to sort of twist and cheat the reveals, but, and the unit I can't fit because the radiator pipe's in the way. Essentially, it's got to go over uh, to where that pencil mark is. Um, and I've had to clamp the door shut because it's twisted. It's about three or four mil out. So I've over, I've over exaggerated it at the bottom, clamped it shut. Um, give it a couple of days because so I'm going to rehang that door um, so it opens the other way, I think. Uh, kind of like book myself in to be a bit loose tomorrow because of the plumber being here um, and maybe having to go through stuff. Turns out it's not actually coming, so just work a lot better for no reason. But anyway, we should say bugger. I think my comments got. I don't think I'm getting my comments come through because um, because of some of my language. It's annoying, isn't it? Um, anyway, still still smashing the rod, so all, all happy. Yeah, and then we've got this floating detail here. You can see there'll be a piece going in there once the floor goes in. So he'll just have to cut his ply up to that. This gets lifted out. Everything else, the ply will go underneath. So it's only that one cupboard. Um, yeah, and you can sort of see now, if I just undo this. Right, so you can sort of see now what I was saying. If I had left that dark, it would look nice when you open the cupboard. It matched the bit at the top, but the problem is when it's shut, you see that it's shut. Ignore the margins or adjust the doors, but you can see like it, it would look a bit odd. Um yeah. Like I said, I'm not fully I'm not fully that's made that better. I'm not fully signed off on that detail yet. I will I will get it a bit better um over time. And then this is gonna have the the timber dowels for those shelves that you've seen in the in the workshop. So again, no point dropping them in. Um so what I'll do now is I'll come in back and do that, but I won't film it. I might have to remake that door. You can see how it's slightly dipping. But again, I won't film that. Um, sometimes the wood just bows a bit. It's not really a lot you can do. It's a bit unfortunate. And then I will, oh, and I've left, I've left these as like a little pack for him to when he puts his waist down there and that, he can just screw those wherever he wants. And that'll be the, that'll hide all the pipes. Um, and then I'll come back when it's all finished, because when it's all finished, I've got to fit the valve panel back on for him, because it will just take it off and I'll put the trim down the bottom, make sure everything's right, make sure he's done a good job of painting it. Um, and I'll get finished shots out when it's done. But um, yeah, not a bad couple of days. A bit of a frustrating one not to be able to finish it, but. Actually looking on the camera, it looks like they're, they're loose at there, but they're not. It's just my pencil marks on the on the timber. Not that I have to explain myself, but yeah, I'm just quite happy with that already. Right, see you tomorrow. Good morning. Thursday morning. Oh, Van Tide is still doing well. A little bit of literature there. That's not for me. It's for the old, uh, old new apprentice. <laughs> Hello, Frank. What you got to say? Good morning. Oh, good girl. Right, so uh, summer holidays, so every now and then this will happen. Um, I'm going back to that job. I'm having an easy day today. I sort of, I don't know if I said it in last night's video, but set myself up to a little bit, a little bit looser today because I thought I was going to have to meet the plumber, didn't we, Frank? Um, but uh, yeah, that's not happening. So I'm going to go back to that house and he wants a door rehanging the other way. I thought it might be quite interesting. I'm going to try and make a video out of it because that house is a sort of standalone, sort of house as a standalone sort of um, uh, house that was um, a one-off build and uh, all the joinery that was in there, all the skirting boards, the door frames, the doors, the arcs, all done out of cedar, which is really, really rare. And to the point where I nearly did the what I did out of cedar, but it's quite soft cedar, to be honest with you. Um, I know when I treat it or harden that, but I just thought, I don't know. I've, I don't. I've worked with cedar a few times, but not for internal joinery. Um, it would be a different cedar as well. And I just I've not brought that from my supplier, so it's like a. Um, uh, so I just thought, ah, you know, stick to what you know. Um, 
and he was happy with it as well. It wasn't like I, you know. Um, right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the old skirting board that I took off, and I'm going to process that a little bit in the workshop just to make some little infills for where I, because when I change the door over, you won't be able to paint out where the hinges were because it's done in hard, but it's done in softwood, real wood. Um, so. I'm uh, yeah. I'm basically going to machine some little pieces that infill the hinges. So we'll just film that, I guess. It's probably more interesting talking about it than actually filming it. Don't you think, Frank? Is it Frank's bored already. It's going to go well, isn't it? Right then. Uh, my daughter's just out there. I can see her from the window. Anyone panicking? So she, I'm not going to bring her in here for this little bit. Basically. Um, what I'm going to do is we're going to swing this door around so it opens the other way. And there's two ways. See, sort of when you're a little bit naive to stuff like this, you can think, oh yeah, just, just turn the door around. But that door has possibly been cut to that opening. So when I full and so I've got two choices. I can either chop the hinges out there and there. That's not going to work very well because if you look, that margin's bigger down there. So we're going to have a bit of a problem if I take those hinges off and chop them into there. And also then I'll have to redecorate a lot more hinge-wise and the handle position will have to move because of it. So what I normally like to try and do is flip the door around, but that's where you can end up in loads of problems. Now, that's because the door, if, if that's a like a complete, that's like a, a complete and a twisted shape, like a parallelogram. Flipping the door around will exaggerate that. Um, but the reason I like to do that is because then I can just cut the hinge into here and here, and I've only got to patch in this little small bit. Quite often, I can Stanley knife that out and actually put that back in on the other side. Um, because you're always going to have a little bit to decorate in. Um, so that's what I'm going to try and do on this. Now, the best way to do that is to, to check you can do that, is to whip the door off and take the hinges, take the handle everything off and flip it round, just see what it looks like. That's how you hang a door basically. Um, just keep your eye on the margins. And then one little quick tip is, never take those handles or hinges off when you're on carpet because they will be, f in fact, I'm not even gonna take the handle off because I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to Take this back to the workshop. This going to be easy. It's wet outside. My workshop's literally down the road. And I'll just do it all there and I can cut the infills. I'll measure it all. And um, then I'll bring it back and it'll just be a case of chopping the hinges into the frame. Right, I'm back in the workshop, uh, which is a good tidy. I'm just going to try and get this done uh, quickly. This is the skirting board then that I've taken off. Splinter straight away. Basically, you can see the colour difference. This is cedar, 100% that's cedar. Well, I think this at some point has had something on it, but the customer's not sure. And then this is the back of the door. You can see it's completely different, but it's closer, isn't it? Yeah, it's had it's had something on it for sure. So I'm gonna I've got no choice really to sand this back, and then we'll just have to find something that goes on it. Uh, I'm going to at the same time sanding that. I just want to be easy to sand that on the bench at the work in here. Get the carpet out, we'll give that a sand. I'm going to um, just get rid of this. There's some old nails. This has been redone again. Someone's drilled and plugged it where it was nailed at some point. I don't know why they drilled and plugged it here because it's on a stub wall. But basically, I'm going to cross cut that. I'm going to be left with this section, um, which I'm then going to. I wrote, took some measurements down in my book of the hinge and the latch holes like sizes I'm just going to machine a load of pieces up that are near the size I'm going to run up there with some clamps and I'll just film what I do to you know rather than pin them in I'll show you I'm not going to film me making it sanding and whatnot but I'll just film the process and we're left now with basically I've made a veneer <laughs> see I mean it, I love cedar it's so stable um yeah so basically I've just machined that to what we what we what we technically call yeah technically i'd say that's a smidgen over a hinge um and then i'll um yeah glue and clamp that in which i'm gonna so it's, if you can appreciate it's a lot easier to do that in a workshop and then cut it that way on site i'll just glue a block in there and, and shape it this will still want shaping and sanding so hold the camera like that 
Yeah. Are you got it? Are you filming? Yeah. Okay, are you getting everything in? Yeah. Yeah? Good girl. Right, so basically, you cut your shins, cut our shims like that, and then Frankie, you've helped, haven't you? Because you've held these things in, haven't you? Yeah. So Frankie's held those while I put, turn the clamps round, the sash clamps round, you use them for anything. Same with the pump grips, you can do the same thing. You can turn the, the, like the, the thing that clamps it round. You put that in, put a bit of wood in over to spread the weight, especially with cedar because it's so soft. It just brew, even when you, if I noticed this years ago and I did some cladding, when you write on cedar, you'll actually, when you sand it out or rub the pencil mark off, you'll leave a dent on it. It's such soft wood. Um, yeah, and then we spread it, push them out, and just give that now, like, well, by the time I sand and rehang the door, I'll come back, that should have dried, hopefully. And then we'll go along with the chisel and the sand. Are you looking at that, Frank? Are you actually filming me? Because you're looking at me, you're not looking at the camera. Mm -hmm. just, yeah, okay. It's all right, it's waffle anyway, really. I'm just trying to make a, a video out of it. You ready to, how am I going to get out, Frank? <laughs> <laughs> how am I going to get out? Oh dear. Right, you can guess go. Turn it off. Say goodbye. Bye. Well, not, yeah. Back in the workshop now. Frank's upstairs drawing. Um, yeah, this wasn't made in China, was it? <laughs> My word. Um, I just didn't even think about it. I've just taken it out and I'm like, ah, oh, I can't switch it over because the key will be upside down because you can't, but you can take it apart and hopefully reverse it. So I'm just going to give that a go now, but it's actually nice to work with. It's, yeah, it's mental how it's made. There's a little piece. That's why I picked up the camera. Sorry. There's a little piece in there. There's a little bit of wood in there. So they've made it all, you know, back in the day and then realised it doesn't quite work and their solution is to shove a little bit of wood in. But it works, it's been working 80 years, like he was telling me, 80 years old, that door and handle. Right, um, I'll crack on with sanding this. Uh, you can sort of see this door's definitely had treatment because under the handle, that's what the wood's like. Um... So the cedar, when it ages, it does does change. I've got some cedar upstairs, actually. Um, yeah, this will be the cedar sort of naturally, if you like. Um, but the red, although you do get red western cedar, that's not, that's, that's, there's obviously had something on the other side. So, that, um, yeah, just got to get the customer to sort that out. I can't sort that out for him. Um, right, uh, I'll update you when I hang the door in the doors on, I guess.
Yeah. Dad. Yeah. It's got a light on. Does. I thought, yeah, I need the light on. Why? Yeah, I thought it's like I like to. Nice to have lots of lights. You can see better. Your brother, your brothers don't do that. And then they put in their shoes. Always looking for their shoes in the dark. Right. There's a bit of a clean out in the bottom, and then we'll go get the other door. Clean out the bottom, and we're going to get the door. That's all, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to have to sand those afterwards because it's still a little, when I chop the side, when I chop this one off, this, it moved over, the glue's not quite gone, even though I clamped it, so I've pieced a little bit back in. And um, it's all get decorated, doesn't it? So that one's all right though. I've just put a little bit of something on it to see if, it, if I can get the color right, but I haven't got anything in the workshop, unfortunately. Right, what time is it, Frankie? Lunch time. Yeah, finished your first job. That took forever, didn't it? Yeah. You did help, though. And we're going to go to the second job now, aren't we? Yeah. But we might not film this one, so because it, it's now 12 o'clock. Well, it's half past 12. We need to get this done, don't we? And get you home, don't we? Yeah, because I'm sweating. 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 Oh, I've got to open the gate. Right, OK, see you in a little bit. You do twist it, yeah. Go in straight. How's it going? Are you happy with the margins? Yeah. Have you? You got to make them. You got to make them all face the same way. I know it's only an old door, but yeah, it's nice if they all face the same way. See how they're going up. That's it. That's perfect. And the other one. Oh, I did that when that one's fine, don't worry about that. Yeah, can watch that then, Frankie. What a day, doing exactly the same thing, two houses, mad. We save them up. Basically, it opened in. We've got like filler and stuff, which I've just whacked in there, some two part. Yeah, we're gonna sand that, aren't we, Frank? Yeah. <laughs> and it's uh, tomorrow. What are we doing tomorrow? Hmm, find out. Mm. I don't know, I don't know. You're not going to hear that stuff, are you, Frank? Uh, you're getting it all. Yeah? You're getting it all, Frank. Yeah. Good girl. Bless you. You're a help. You're a big help, aren't you? Well, that's the end of the day. Uh, sorry I didn't film the first job, but basically the customer came back and it was just like, I was just a bit of a mad rush getting out of there and then he was taking me to my next job and I think I just took a lot longer on that one. So he was, I think, I think I made him a little bit later taking me to his dad's house to hang out of the door, which I didn't film because we're getting a bit tired, aren't we, Frank? You're getting a little bit tired. You just had a little nap, didn't you? It's now half six. Because after I did that, I finished that at like four, I've then gone to three other jobs to speak to people and just check and confirm things. I went back to that job that I did last week with the vanity unit. They still not fit at the vanity unit, um, but the bathroom looks so nice. It's so nice to work for people like that. They're doing such a good job, Tyler and the plumber there. Um, yeah, and he's got another little job for me, which I'm going to do tomorrow. Um, yeah, without you though, Frank, because you're a bit tired, aren't we? You might have noticed that I'm kind of being a bit loose at the moment with work. Well, the reality of that is I've had years and years of being so booked up in advance, I can't respond to people. So I'm purposely trying to leave myself three days, like not the number three, um, but a certain amount of days, a week or a month or, or whatever, that I've, I can respond to stuff. Um, sometimes that works well, sometimes it just means I have to have a day off or I just go to the workshop and bring something forward early. 
Um, that's kind of compounded with the fact that the job I was going to do, this porch, um, which I haven't started yet, it was raining on and off this week. It was supposed to rain a lot more than what it did, to be fair. So I kind of put it back a little bit. And then the plumber was late for this job I've just done. So it kind of like, it's worked really, really well because I've got work I can fill. Um, so I'm going to go back to that vanity unit job on Monday and Tuesday next week. I'm going to do some panel, wall paneling there. So that should make a nice little a good video, shouldn't it, Frank? Are you going to come in for that one or are you going to stay at home? Paddling. So you're going to do the paddling? Do you know I said paddling or do you think I said paddling? Paddling. I know, it's not paddling. It's, pad, it's, pa, it's paddling. It's wall, wall paddling. Not pad, we can go out on the paddle boards though if you want. A sea or a hot tub, okay, that's going to be hard for a day, but um, we saved that for a holiday anyway. Yeah. See you tomorrow, Dad. yes, Frank. See you later.